10 minutes in front of the mirror, I showed up. I was lucky enough while I was in Italy visiting famous winemakers to get to rent and drive a brand new 2019 Alfa Romeo Giulia sports sedan with the 2.2 liter turbo diesel engine, which was uh, a new thing for me. Uh, six speed manual, rear wheel drive, um, and I should have looked and seen what size the wheels were, but I think those are 17s on it. Um, so smaller alloy wheels. It had about 200 kilometers on it when I picked it up, and I think it had like 800 something when I returned it. Went over to Hertz and I really think that the lighter weight of those alloy wheels contributed to the, how great the car handled on these back roads. Also, look at that thing. I think it's way more attractive than anything from Germany. I'll uh, post more complete reviews later. Calvi del Umbria. Oh, I think I'm still in Umbria. I think. Well, like just barely. I haven't seen any signs saying, hey, welcome to Lazio, so... What was that? <laughs> the dashboard just started flashing at me. It was, the car was scared. <laughs> I was really impressed by the balance of the car. You could carry some serious speed through these tight rural back roads. The motor was behind the front wheels um, or the axis of the, you know, the front wheels. And it was, it was really excellently balanced. The brakes also did a great job of tucking the nose back in when you needed to adjust your line mid corner. Currently trying to keep up with Danilo in his uh, 45 TDI hybrid twin turbo diesel Audi. And I think he's driving slow for my benefit, um, but we are going pretty fast. Um, having been driving that yesterday, this, uh, this Alpha, it's great, but there is a little bit more wind noise. Oh, well, now we've hit more traffic. There's more wind noise in this Alpha. Um, here on the highway, like, I can't really hear any, like, diesel sound of the engine. I don't know. Not that I'd really mind that. It's kind of nice to hear the motor. The nice, uh, nice view. Um, these are great roads for the Alpha. Like, I mean, it kept up fine with the Audi on the highway. It doesn't, it doesn't have the explosive pull of that thing because of that thing's, uh, hybrid system, hybrid torque fill, hybrid boost. But, um, but on these like winding back roads here, driving, you know, keeping the engine sort of in its power, uh, it's like constantly, instantly responsive. Uh, and it really, it feels really good getting around all these like little corners. Like the car doesn't lean too much. Maybe it leans a little bit, but it's like just enough to make you feel like you're doing something fun. Um, I like the sound of the motor. It's pretty smooth. It doesn't sound like that coarse. Yeah. Everything about it feels really good. There's nothing, like there's nothing clumsy. The steering is light, but communicative, uh, pretty direct. Uh, everything that I've done in the past couple of days driving this car, I haven't, you know, like felt the car really get out of uh, out of place. I mean, the only time I guess was back there on the highway going really pretty fast. Um, it started to get a little bit floaty going over like bumps and expansion joints and stuff like that, which is not, I don't know, too unusual and particularly at those speeds. I don't have much experience with diesel cars, so I wasn't sure what to expect. Um, the motor was perfectly adequate. It was probably the softest part of the car. The chassis tuning was excellent. I really appreciated that they were smaller wheels, and so you had that extra sidewall to soak up bumps out on these, these you know, rough rural roads. Uh, the six-speed transmission was great. Uh, the steering feel was excellent. The brakes were very good. 
Um, the balance of the chassis was was excellent, like I said. The motor was perfectly adequate. It had, you know, plenty of torque. It just, you know, it wasn't as sharp as all the other parts of the car is really what it came down to. Um, it was totally fine, though. And I didn't even mind the sound. Like, it was quiet. Um, and when you were really going for it on a back road, like, it did have sound. It just wasn't as raucous as the Abarths that I've driven in the past. The Julia was a great balance, both for the Autostrada and on back roads. It would just soak up miles at high speed on the highway, but then it was perfectly balanced and could like be really fun and engaging on back roads. I really enjoyed it. It was quick, and I honestly kind of want one now. Um, the only unfortunate thing was that I couldn't figure out how to turn off the Italian traction control, so... I you know could kind of light the wheels up um, coming out of toll booths, but that was basically it. I couldn't like you know practice launching it and stuff like that. But overall, it's a fantastic car, and if I only had one car, this would probably be it.